Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 6. O ye children of Binyamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Yerushalayim and blow the shofar in Tikoa. And set up a sign of fire in Beat Hach Karim, for evil appears out of the north and great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Sion to a comely and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed everyone eth in his place. Prepare ye war against her. Arise, and let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goes away, for the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus has Yahuwah Sevaoth said, Hew ye down trees, and cast a mount against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited. She is wholly oppressed in the midst of her. As a fountain casts out her waters, so she casts out her wickedness. Violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually is grief and wounds. Be instructed, O Yerushalayim, lest my soul depart from you, lest I make you desolate, a land not inhabited. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, they shall thoroughly glean, rather, they shall throughly glean the remnant of Yashadael as a vine. Turn back your hand as a grape gatherer into the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahuwah is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore I am full of the fury of Yahuwah. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the man with the woman shall be taken, the aged with him that is full of days. And their houses shall be turned unto others with their fields and women together. For I will stretch out at my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, says Yahuwah. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone deals falsely. They have healed also at the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At that time that I visit them with, they shall be cast down, says Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Also I set a watchman over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the shofar. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore hear, ye nations, and know, eth, O assembly, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my Torah but rejected it. To what purpose comes there to me incense from Shiva and the sweet cane from a far country? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. 
Therefore, thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, a people comes from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea, and they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against you, O daughter of Sion. We have heard at the fame thereof, our hands wax feeble. Anguish has taken hold of us, and pain, as of a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird you with sackcloth, and wallow yourself in ashes. Make you a mourning as for a yachid, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set you for a tower and a fortress among my people, that you may know and try at their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned, the lead is consumed of the fire, the founder melts in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because Yahuwah has rejected them.